Gravity is not a force. Yes, you heard me right. There's no such thing as gravitation. But in school we were taught that it's because of gravitational force that we were able to stand on Earth's surface. And it's the same reason why the moon revolves around the Earth. Gravity does exist, but not in the way we thought it did. Albert Einstein liked imagining people falling. He once performed a thought experiment where one person is falling from the rooftop and he started observing other objects from the frame of reference from the fallen person. He stated that when a person falls down, he feels weightless, just like astronauts feel in space. If an object free falls with that person, the object will seem to be at rest or to be moving in uniform velocity to that person. Think of yourself as being present in deep space outside of any object to gravity meaning no external force is acting on you. Your spaceship is at rest or rather moving with a constant velocity. Here you'll feel no weight. Every object near you will seem at rest to you and if we apply any external force to them they will move with a constant velocity in a straight line and you'd be in an inertial observer in the situation. Inertial observer means you're neither accelerating nor any gravitational field is acting on you and in your reference all of the laws of physics will apply. What Einstein here is trying to say is the situation of a person falling down and a person in deep space is not only similar but exactly the same which means the person falling from the rooftop is not on the gravitational field well, there's no gravitational field at all, and the person's not accelerating either. Just like the person in space, this person is also an inertial observer. Well, you can see how both the observers can feel weightless. Now you'd question that the person who fell from the rooftop was clearly under the influence of, gra of a gravitational field, as accelerating too, at 9.8 times 10 meters per second squared. Yes, both of these situations seem very different, but Einstein's equivalence principle tells us to focus on one thing, that is, the observer's experience. If the observer feels weightless, he is in an inertial frame of reference. I know there's a lot of grey area around here, but let's consider some imagination to make things crystal clear. Let's imagine the person in deep space moving with constant velocity which is near a planet without even realising. From the frame of reference of that person, it will continue moving in a straight line, but to an external observer, it would seem like the path of the rocket is deviating towards that planet. But the person inside the rocket would be unaware of this situation and will feel no force or acceleration. Slowly, the rocket will start nearing the planet and its speed will increase but the person operating the rocket will still feel weightless. The person inside the rocket is travelling in a straight line itself in space-time, but the space-time in which he's actually travelling is bent. To get a clear understanding, let's imagine you and your friends decide to move straight towards the north. If you keep moving towards the north, from any named point on Earth, there will come a point where you and your friends will meet at the same point. You travelled on a straight path, but the path you travelled on was bent. So according to the person sitting inside the rocket, the path he's travelling on is straight. But to an external observer, the path which is leading him to the planet will seem to have been changed. Einstein had portrayed gravity likewise. Gravity is created by the disturbance created in the space-time fabric, and this disturbance is influxed by some massive object. Now the Sun and other planets are also present in space-time fabric and there would obviously be some disturbance in that space-time fabric because of their mass. Now because the mass of the Sun is greater than that of other planets, other planets revolve around the Sun. And this same thing applies between a planet and its moon. With increasing new discoveries in the field of physics, mysteries of the universe are unveiling. A total of four fundamental forces exist in the universe which are 
electromagnetic force, strong nuclear force, weak nuclear force, and gravitational force. With the use of quantum physics, we found out that every force has its carrier particles, like photons carry electromagnetic force, W and Z bosons carry weak nuclear force, and has a theory which it claims that gravitons can carry gravity. Now, because gravity is strong in a large scale, this is nearly negligible on a small scale, which is why detecting gravitons is currently impossible. Because let's say, if the size of gravitons is similar to that of some planet, to detect it we will need a detector the size of that of universe, which is impossible as of now. It's highly possible that after the discovery of gravitons, we'll be able to unveil many mysteries of the universe, and we'll be able to unify theories and concepts of physics, quantum physics, and classical physics as well. I really hope you liked this video. Thank you all so much for watching.